God can be angry with sinners and love them at the same time. God can be angry with sinners and love them at the same time. Whenever we say that he can't, it's a, it's a false dichotomy. Yes, God is a righteous judge and he is angry with the wicked every day. That's Psalm 711. It says he is angry with the wicked. But also, Romans 5, 8 tells us that God demonstrates his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God can be angry with sinners every day and yet love them at the same time. That's a tension. I get it. <laughs> I get it. But I'm so glad that that's possible because if it wasn't, I would have to appease God before he would show me his love. And as we know, we can't. We can't atone for our own sin. We can't make up uh, for one sin. I could live a life of good works and whatever, and it wouldn't pay for one sin. There's nothing, nothing I could do. But in his love, his mercy, his grace, his kindness, Christ died for my sin, paid the price that I owed paid my sin debt. This may not be a perfect analogy, but it's about the best I can do as just a, a person, is I'm a father of four. Um, I have four young kids. They're 11, 7, 6, and 5. And I love them more than I could ever explain, more than I could ever describe. Any parent could relate. Um, our two oldest are biological. Uh, our two youngest are adopted. Um, they all have amazing stories, backgrounds, personalities. They're incredible. And I love them with everything in me. Now, just because I love them and would lay down my life for them in an instant doesn't mean I'm always happy with them. <laughs> Sometimes they do things that are very disappointing to me. Sometimes they make me angry. But I still love them. Now, if I can do that as a <laughs> sinful fallen person in need of God's mercy and grace myself daily, pretty sure a perfect, holy, righteous God can love and at the same time be angry yet without sin. Sometimes in my anger, I sin. I've had to apologize to my kids many times had to humble myself there and say, daddy was wrong. I'm sorry. Um, I shouldn't have acted that way. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? God never has to do that <laughs> because he's perfect. He's perfect. His anger is not um, marred by sin. A lot of times we we'll take like those emotional attributes of God and we'll try to just put ourselves in, in like in God's shoes, or maybe it's better to say God in our shoes and say like, well, when you get angry, you feel this way or you do that or you act this way. No, no, no. That's you. That's me. That's humanity. God doesn't experience emotions in the same way that we do because when he is angry, it is a righteous anger. He is not, it's not tainted by sin at all. So that may not be a, a perfect analogy, but I think it, it helps us to understand how God can be angry with sinners every day, angry with the wicked every day, it says in Psalm 711, and yet at the same time, God demonstrating his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. If God was so angry with me that he didn't love me, then he wouldn't have died. <laughs> he wouldn't have died for me. <laughs> then Christ would not have died for me. But he did. But he did. <laughs>